Well, you probably know by now that Anthony and myself are absolutely addicted to coffee. Not so much cake these days, but definitely coffee. Uh, we treated ourselves to a new coffee machine. We've had the same one for about four or five years and it just kept leaking. Um, we got fed up of uh, trying to fix it and having water all over the kitchen surfaces. Anyway, we just got this coffee, um, Lavazza Super Crema. Just opened it. Oh, it smells amazing. I can't wait that I can't wait to put the coffee beans in the machine and get the coffee going. I've got a cold at the moment, so I probably can't taste this, but. Oh, I can. That's really nice. <clears throat> People ask us, does it get cold on a boat? And narrow boaters always say no. Well, not really, because it doesn't get any colder than on a house. I must admit, the floor's a bit chilly this morning. So we've got central heating and we've got our diesel reflex fire. So as long as you keep the heating on, it is quite warm. But obviously we're sat in cold water. Uh, you don't normally notice that unless it gets really cold, like it is today, minus one. Uh, I've got artwork to post off. I sent loads off the other day, but I actually ran out of these envelopes. So I've had some more delivered. Um, and this is the last print that I've got to post off today. I'm really happy with this. Um, it's my latest drawing. I think it's a two jacket day today. <laughs> I thought you were hard in northern. Eh? Not outside I'm not, I'm hard northern in the boats. <laughs> Minus one outside. Oh, we're off to the post office so you can post your artwork and potentially the cafe um, for a cup of coffee. Lovely blue sky though today, isn't it? It is. I can't believe you've seen some woodpeckers through the skylights. I know, that's a first, seeing woodpeckers from the boat. Right, let's go. We're ready? Dexter. Yeah, Dexter's keen, come on. Where is he? You went to go, Dexter. Where are we going? We're going out. Ooh. Look at these. Bargain. <laughs> 12 quid on eBay. That's what comes with having child sized feet. <laughs> Watch your head. Come on, Pad. Come on, mate. Right, that's my artwork sent off at the post office. Nice little village, Rembry. And just up, about 100 metres up from the post office, there is a really nice cafe. Looks like an old cricket club or something, but very nice. Come on, mate. Come on, Come on. Finally finished this one. It's a surprise present. Love it. Three Labradors. Well, as you can see, we had a bit of snow overnight. It's really cold. It feels like it's about one degree today. Uh, possibly colder than that. Uh, that's Celsius. But um, the forecast today is for eight degrees. I can't see it myself. We're going to move up hopefully towards Whitchurch, towards the Whitchurch Arm, but we've heard it's very busy up there uh, because the Whitchurch Arm has been frozen, so nobody can get off. Uh, I'm just gonna take Dexter for a quick walk and some bins up here by the Dusty Miller. 
and yeah, we had a late night last night. I'm trying to finish commissions before Christmas. <laughs> well, I will be finishing the commissions before Christmas, but I think it was up till 2 a.m. Oh, I'm tired today. <laughs> but yeah, looking forward to moving and getting up towards Wick Church because we've got friends up that way. Is that cold? I've got my big coat on. <laughs> it's definitely big cold weather. Right, covers are down as you can see. This is one of my latest commissions that I'm working on and Anthony, Hello. you wrapped up warm enough. Uh, not yet, I've only got a jumper on. <laughs> and are you looking forward to today's journey? No, because <laughs> we've got to go and then I'm going to the gym straight after we moor up. We're not feeling great, are we? Win no. Winter colds and coughs. But we did eat a lot over the weekend because we had friends here, so I need to go to the gym and try and work some of that off. Okay. All right. It's very cold this morning, isn't oh, it? It is. Freezing. As you can see, we've got big coats on. Right, our journey today is seven miles, ten locks. We're at Renbury and we're going towards Whitchurch, towards Whitchurch Arm. But apparently it's really busy because the arm is frozen and I'm not surprised because it's been minus five at night. It's cold, isn't it? Yeah, it snowed last night. Yeah. It's everywhere. It's As you can see. Yeah, just in the snow. Yeah, looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah. We like Renbury, don't we? Yeah, love it. It's really sad that the Cotton Arms are shut down because mm. obviously we went for a quiz night there, didn't we? With, oh, yeah. Um, Tony Bowers. Tony Bowers. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But the Duster Miller was really nice. I think it's in new hands as well. But the food, we went there the other night with Fran Rich and Pete and Caroline. Pete Caroline. We had a meal and the food was really nice, wasn't it? They were dead welcoming. Yeah, and a couple of drinks, maybe. Nah. <laughs> but yeah, it's freezing. We're going to crack on. It's just gone 10 o'clock. Uh, this journey takes about five hours, but we need to fill with water, get rid of rubbish. Oh, let's see how far we get. Come on. Get whip it fed. Yeah. <laughs> Motor's on. Do you know what the batteries are at? 80% 80% on the batteries uh, so let's see oh if you're new to the channel I'm Paul I'm Anthony Dexter's inside by the oh, fire yeah, shivering this morning after his walk bless him oh, so yeah. yeah we've left him inside yeah best for him see you in a minute yeah Oh, this is well slippery. <laughs> yeah, be careful. Ah. <laughs> 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 Frozen ropes. That's very slippy. I don't fancy going in here today. Church bells aren't a good omen, are they? I've got to walk back yet for the van. Oh, do you have to? I can get a taxi if you like. No, because I'm going to go straight to the gym. Do we know what the temperature is today? No idea. It's definitely minus something. You've got fog as well and mist, haven't you, on the fields? That's going to make it even colder. God. We need some kind of heated gloves because it's it's quite calm, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, come here, dears. Hello.
I keep feeling like so it's snowing again. There's loads of snow in the sky. Mm. Right. It's quite white, isn't it? Well, the batteries seem to be doing okay, don't they? The lithium batteries. Yeah. The, the severe cold that we've had. Yeah. Well, they, they behave themselves so much better. We don't have one that runs away. They, they just, they charge evenly, they discharge evenly, which is what we always said we wanted, really, because well, that is what you want. Um, we just need to sort the, the generator and solar out now, because um, I, I swear it's a generator, it's using all, all this Diesel. fuel. Yeah. We've been assured it's all going to get sorted while we're away. So we'll let you know obviously if that doesn't happen. <sighs> right, I've just took my gloves off to turn the camera on. I've put my hands in my pockets. Sorry about that. I apologise. It's a bit rude, isn't it, when you're talking to people? Is it happening all the time? <laughs> A few people have been asking if we're going into a marina for the winter. Well, we're continuous cruisers, or CCers, as people like that are known. <laughs> Sounds wrong, doesn't it? <laughs> people like that are known. People like us are known. CCers. I'm sure we're known by other things as well. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, essentially what that means is we don't have a whole mooring. We just work our way around the network um, and move every two weeks. Fortunately, in winter, all the moorings, unless it specifies differently, are 14 days. So even the 48 hours, unless it says all year round, are, then become 14 days, which is really good actually, isn't it? It's, yeah. It means you don't have to move as often, because a lot of people just don't move that off, as, as often in winter. No. But you still need to move every 14 days, unless you're frozen in, you know, ex, um, exceptional circumstances. Yeah, and you need to get water and fuel anyway. I mean, there's a fuel boat that goes up and down the canal, even in winter, uh, which is just amazing isn't it they do such a good job they do in fact we saw it stocking up and they told us it'd be about two weeks which is probably just about right for us yeah um, in about a week we can get some more fuel can't we yeah and that's all we need we don't need gas we don't need coal we don't need logs and kindling which is a bit odd because even now when we pass somewhere where there's logs and kindling oh yeah i do when you see the sign for it yeah yeah we need to pull up and get some but yeah uh, we got into the habit of that on the old boat so that is good we are loving the diesel reflex yeah, it's so much cleaner, isn't it? Controllable. Yeah. We can leave it on all. I mean, I know you can with your coal fire, but when we used to do the coal fire by six in the morning, mm. it'd be like dying down. It'd be quite cold again. Where this, you can just leave it on a yeah. temperature, and it's just beautiful. <coughs> Sorry, totally distracted. I love donkeys. <laughs> in fact, we can't talk about it and not film them. I give mo I I give money to the donkey sanctuary every month. It, I like just. They just look so sad all the time. And they're very sociable creatures, and like they don't like to be on their own. Yeah. Like us. I don't mind being on their own, to be honest. <laughs> we did spend our first winter in a marina because of Covid and we couldn't go out, and if you did go out you weren't allowed back in. But, there's no way, if we were in a marina, would you dream of going out in this weather? But actually this is really nice, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's fabulous cruising weather. We feel like we've got the whole canal to ourselves. So peaceful and you know, wrap up warm. No such thing as bad weather, just bad clothing. That's right. <laughs> we did go in the marina. <clears throat> was it the second year or third year? Third year. Second. Second. So the only time we tend to put our boat in the marina is when we go away, and that's because we don't like to. For a couple of days, it's fine, but if we go away for like a couple of weeks, couple of weeks we tend to put it in the marina for safety and security. Um, this year it's tying in with the work being done, so yes. um, it's going out, it's coming out the water anyway, so we're away. That's You've been very blasé about that, it's the first time we've announced it. Big announcement, the boat is coming out of the water and getting... Oh, it's having a lot of work done, a lot of work including done. a bigger prop, which yes. we're hoping will help with obviously the propelling the boat through. Um, we're hoping as well that it will reduce the diesel costs because we'll be travelling further that's the theory anyway, with a bigger prop. Yeah. Um, there's other things being done, but we'll, we'll announce them sort of nearer the time. Mm -hmm. um, we do definitely need to liaise with Liam though, because yeah. 
it just seems a bit up in the air of when this is getting done. He wants to do it while we're away. We want him to do it while we're away. I mean, it's not going to affect us, but... The downside is we can't film it then, so we'll have to get Liam to film it, and he's, he's quite good at doing it. He that, did a fabulous he? job last time, didn't yeah, he, the, the boat, film, so... Yeah. Yeah. But we are loving the boat because it's so cosy at night, and, like, we were out all day yesterday with friends. Um, it was at, at John's birthday, our friend John's birthday, so we went out, did a bit of shopping for Christmas. It was heaving. Uh, we went to Cheshire Oaks, bumped some viewers, which was really nice, yeah. wasn't it? Oh, they were lovely. <laughs> yeah. Julie, I can't remember his name. No. But I think her name was Julie, she was lovely. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, hello to you, if you're watching. She recognised Dexter first. Yeah. It was really nice because we're out for most of the day and we could set the heating to come on via the app on our phone. We had the diesel reflex on all day, keeping the chill off. And we could even run the generator for an hour from an app on our phone, which we could never do on the other boat. So that is amazing. So to come home to a warm boat, switch all those lights on, plenty of power, it's really nice, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So... So far, a big thumbs up for the electric propulsion boat in winter. What do you say? Apart from the diesel consumption. <laughs> Apart from the diesel consumption, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm still awfully concerned about that. Cause yeah, it is cost on us a lot. It, and it defeats the object of having an electric boat. So if you're using more diesel than you did it. Yeah, well it was only about maybe eight days ago that we put 90 pounds worth of fuel in and that's gone. Yeah, that's, that's not right. But apart from that, yeah, yeah, we love the boat. I love that like we cook with electric because it, it's well the, the oven's so much better as well, isn't it? I hated the gas oven on the last boat. Could have been a live vlog, this has gone on that long. There's a kestrel that we've just seen in that tree. Absolutely love kestrels. take off. It's right in the middle of the sh screen, isn't it? I think I will be getting the bike but I don't get the walking all this way. I've just come into the boat, I'm in the galley, I've made a coffee for myself, Anthony's on water, it's been very good. Fran and Rich have just been in touch, they've only done two locks today and said, warning. <laughs> they sent us a caution saying, it's really icy underfoot and it's really icy on the locks, so they've stopped after doing two locks. So, we'll, we'll see how we get on, we need to find somewhere where we can park the van close to the boat for Anthony as well. <sighs> got my coffee, Anthony's got his water, and I've got hot water bottle. 
call me Ness, but <laughs> oh, I can't. Are you sure you don't want a hot water bottle? No. Ooh, I reached. It's just my fingers. My fingers and toes are cold. But I'm, I'm actually cold. Right. Warm. We have got two hot water bottles. My cold's fine. Thank you. Oh, that's nice. Ooh. Actually, I can't really feel it. <laughs> it's the cold. Next lock ahead, you can just see Anthony's going to set it. All these locks are full by the looks of it, not one's going to be set in our favour. We can't even blame Fran and Rich because they've been off here for days. Somebody helping out on the lock. This is Willie Moore Lock and the Bywash is fierce. Well that's a pain because the towpath behind us that leads to Willymore Lock is closed due to flooding so Anthony can't get back on his bike to go and get his van. So fingers crossed that I can get an Uber because I don't want him cycling on the main road. Right, I'm going to sort the boat out from all over the place. This is our first winter on an electric narrowboat and we're pretty pleased with the results. We normally cruise for about 4 hours and that uses about 20% battery which isn't too bad. The downside is the generator kicks in to top up the batteries when we're not getting solar and we're using a lot more diesel than we thought to run that generator to power the batteries. Are you trying to pull that gate then? What? Are you trying to pull that gate then? I've done it twice and keep doing it on this side for some reason. Might as well go on an Antarctic trip. We had planned to carry on to Whitchurch, but we were cold and it was getting miserable. We must be. <laughs> yeah, we definitely. Not. He wants two. I don't. Are you mad? Yeah. It's only two more locks. Where you got? Where are you going to? Though? Which church? Shush. Huh? Which church? That's only two more locks, isn't it? Then you've got Brindley Brook here. Brindley Brook. How many's in that? Six. Oh, we told six. me two. No, it's six at Brindley Brook. Two more here. Staircase. <laughs> yeah, oh. we can do. It's, there's only six in this staircase. Oh, all right then. <laughs> Thought two, you said. Yeah, you're going from. Yeah. Yeah, good. Actually, I don't need to. Just give me the. Give me the. Sorry, that just right. I was just about to take him for his walk. That's it's it. not the most perfect day for cruising, is it? It's not, is it? I'm surprised <laughs> you've actually moved. Oh, fair play to you.
Well, just typical, we can't get an Uber, we can't get a taxi, the footpath's closed. Anthony's gonna have to cycle, <coughs> excuse me, cycle down the road until he gets to Willie Moore Lock and then cycle down the path. Oh, it's horrific, I wish you didn't have to do this. You good, definitely got your van keys. Yep. Got your wallet. Yep. And your phone. Yeah. All right, see you in a All right bit. be careful, see you in a bit. I've had to come inside because my fingers look at the freezing. We've just tied up. Um, Amy Joe's in front of us, so Steve uh, we're chatting to, and behind are Fran and Rich. Um, it's like a vlogger's summer, well, winter picnic. <laughs> um, the batteries are at 53%. They were at 80 when we set off, so yeah, um, this has been a very cold, long trip and quite a few locks. We stopped just before Grinley Brook staircase locks because the six locks in front of us before Whitchurch and it's just too cold and wet to carry on. Anyway, uh, that's enough waffling from me. We're gonna get by the fire. Thank you so much for watching and if you've enjoyed the content today, uh, please give it a like. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. It really does help the channel and it is completely free and keep your comments coming because we love to see all of your comments. All right, have a good week. Bye.